Hello and welcome to episode 38 of your 15 Minutes to Feel Good podcast. Brooke Longmore here, helping you to understand your own story. I'm a mindset and mental health specialist, helping adults, children, teenagers, couples, families, organisations and the education system to raise the bar. When we understand our own story, we can take our life to that next level. And we are all seeking that next level. We all want to do more in life. We all want to have that feeling of joy as we wake up in the mornings. And that's why when we don't have it, it feels so awful. Episode 38 of your 15 minutes to feel good Friday, my favourite day of the week, 2nd of September, here we go, we are in September, madness, right? Today I'm going to speak to you about a topic that I have been focusing on all week across my social media platforms and that topic is the topic of reflection and why it's important for us to reflect. It's really, really important that we stop and we reflect, but it's really, really important that we stop and we consciously reflect. And that's dead important. Consciously reflect. Conscious reflecting will help you to take control. Right now, why am I talking about conscious reflection? A lot of people reflect and they stay really, really stuck, right? And they look back the way without a purpose and they feel a lot of disconnection, they are completely out of balance, their relationships and their life is completely poor, they are feeling very negative, they're overworked, they're undervalued, they're in the same cycle of pain, right? When we consciously reflect, we reflect to learn about ourselves. We reflect to understand our own story, which gives us the power to change it. So we consciously reflect with power, with personal power. We consciously reflect with empowered thoughts. Right? A lot of people, right, our, our brain, right, doesn't think long term, right? We want instant gratification, right? Not very many people think long term. They want that instant feeling of everything working out. They want that instant feeling of belonging, that instant feeling of happiness, that instant feeling of joy, that instant feeling of balance, right? A lot of us don't think long term. And when I, I, I was walking yesterday, right, and I was consciously reflecting, and I was thinking about a lot of the choices that I've made that have led to where I am today, right? So I'm currently 2nd of September, so excited for life, working hard to take things up a level, right? I'm going to be starting my Masters in Forensic Psychology the 1st of October. My book is out this month, right? Yay! My book is going to be with you this month, right? Understanding your own story. And when I reflect, right, I had to make a lot of decisions in the past that was based on long term. So if I was always focused on that instant gratification, I wouldn't be telling you about my books, I wouldn't be telling you about my masters, right? There's sometimes we need to make choices that's in alignment with our bigger picture, right? And when we consciously reflect, we start to understand our own story, which helps us to make better choices 
and it helps us to make better choices that's in alignment with our bigger picture. So guys, look, here's the thing. If you're listening to this podcast, you want more in life. If you're listening to this podcast, you want to feel empowered. If you're listening to this podcast, you want to take back control. If you listen to this podcast, you want to let go of anxiety. If you're listening to this podcast, you want to understand your life direction. You're not listening to this podcast for an easy life. You're listening to this podcast to understand your own story. Simple as. You wouldn't tap into this information or content if you were not a courageous person. So you have far more courage in you than you often realise. And consciously reflecting will help you to remind yourself of that. Right? So let's get on to what I want you to consciously reflect on. Right? Today, why don't you start thinking back? How did August go? We're only in the 2nd of September. What went well in August? Make a note of three things that went well. How? Make a note of an action step for each three things. What can you do to power it up? Look back in August. Look at what did they go so well? Write an action step that you're going to take to improve what didn't go well this month. Right? So when you're consciously reflecting, you want to look back at what went well because you're understanding your strengths. And you want to look back at what didn't go so well because you're understanding how to change it. Conscious reflecting. Conscious reflecting will stop that cycle of pain because guess what? See when you understand what went wrong in August and you put down that action step that you're going to take a change. September's going to be better. And see when your September's better, your October's better. And see when your October's better. Your November's better, senior December's better, your 2023 is better. Are you getting the picture? <laughs> In episode 38, are you getting the picture? Consciously reflecting, right? Stopping and pausing, that's what we do at the new month, right? Or we don't do it and we just play out the same month, the same cycle of pain, right? The same feelings of disconnection, the same feelings of not in balance, the same feelings of poor connections, the same challenges we're manifesting, right? If you stop and you pause and you reflect, things are going to be a lot better. You're going to start having faith in life. You're going to start developing a huge sense of courage. You're going to start feeling trust for life. You're going to start feeling protected because when you feel in control, right? When you believe in your ability to create a life that you love, you feel protected. But when you are all over the place and out of balance, it's hard to feel protected in life. We often feel that everybody's against us. We often feel that decisions are made that not in our favour. We often just feel that things do not go our way. But when we consciously reflect, we understand our own story and we step right into our personal power. We step right into that solar plexus energy of feeling in balance, of having a healthy level of self-esteem. We're able to control our life. We're able to use our personal power in positive ways. Consciously reflect. Get pen to paper, guys, right? If you think, do you know what? This is too hard to do. I'm going to have you consciously reflecting. If you're going to read my book, Understand Your Own Story, which will be out this month, if you're going to read that, um, you're going to be consciously reflecting, right? You will be consciously reflecting, right? <laughs> you will be. But let's get pen to paper today, right? Write down three things that went well and write one action step for each thing. How can you make do? How can you do more of that this month? Write down three things that didn't go so well. What action step can you take to improve it, to make it better? You're in control. You're far more in control than what you will allow yourself to believe you're. And you are worthy of abundance. And I know you guys that listen to this podcast, you're trying to manifest abundance and you keep hitting the same bloody blocks every month, right? And the reason being is you don't know your own story. Now, you might know parts of it, but you need to do the deeper work. You want to take control. You want to feel to heal. 
you want to know what you want, right? So I work with a three-step process when I'm working with my clients. Step one is knowing what you want. Step two is taking back control by healing what gets in the way. And step three is showing up and living that better life. And we do all of this through therapy, right? One-to-one -one therapy is your biggest transformational um, tool. Podcasts like this engaging exercises so not not just listening to the podcast guys and tick my box but actually properly engaging with the content right because it's completely different by the way if you just listen engage with the content watch videos right i've also got work at home plans so if you just think you know what one therapy just isn't for me yet then i've got work at home plans that you can do at home that's going to help you take those first steps to really really understanding your own life so that you can power things up, so that you can feel guided, you can have faith in life, you can feel courageous, you can feel protected, you trust yourself. Meditation, vision boards, music, journaling, these are all ways, guys, that we can really power up our life, right? But we have to have some reflection in these plans as well. So like what I'm saying about the podcast, don't just listen and go, okay, that's episode 38 done, brilliant, let's wait till next Friday. Reflect on the podcast. Listen to it two or three times, get pen and paper, start making a note of what it is that you heard that really triggered something in you, right? Start understanding yourself, right? Sometimes we've got to go back the way to push forward. See yourself a wee bit like an arrow, you know, a bone arrow, if you pull it, pull it back, 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 ping, poof, forward, right? <laughs> right, you know, life can feel so much better so much better than it often is for people right we want to develop a sense of safety a sense of security a sense of stability and good foundations in life but we definitely need to understand our own story to have any of that right it's dead important so consciously reflecting helps us to really understand our mistakes but we also can take our mistakes and understand the power in our mistakes right because when we've made mistakes, we've got the power to turn them into something better. We've got the power and ability, the personal power, to really take our mistakes and transform them. I've made mistakes as well, by the way, and I continue to make mistakes in my life because, like you, I'm human. I'm not some sort of super, superhuman person. I'm an empath. I'm a spiritual being. I, I, I make mistakes, but when I do make mistakes, I take them and I engage in my personal power to really transform mistakes into blessings. And you can do that too. So let's do the consciously reflecting exercise. Let's do, write down the three things that went well, one action step and how you're going to power that up to do more of it this month. Let's write down three things that didn't go well um, and an action step for each experience that's going to help you to make the change this month. Right? We've got lots going on this month. We've got a full moon on Saturday the 10th of September. We've got a new moon on Sunday the 25th and um, probably should tell you there were no podcasts from Friday the 16th because I'm not here. I'll tell you about that next week. Okay, <laughs> exciting times. Right, next week I'm going to be speaking about healing after narcissistic abuse. So healing after being with a narcissist. So next week you are going to want to hear this information, especially if you have been on the receiving end of narcissistic abuse. That's what I'm going to be focusing on next week because loads of my clients are coming to me with that um, specific challenge. So I always bring you content based on what I am getting sent my way. Guys, I'm sending out so much gratitude for all you listeners, right? This is a dead exciting time for us all, right? Let's go to that next level. If you want to speak to me about anything I've spoke about today, you can email me, brooke at brooklongmore.co.uk. You can visit my website www.brooklongwork.co.uk or you can private message me on any of my social media platforms. Understanding your own story gives you the power to change it. I've been Brooke Longmore, your mindset and mental health specialist and I'm sending you so much love. Have a great, super duper Friday. I hope you have a fantastic week but let's consciously reflect. If you need any support or help with exercises in today's podcast, then get in touch. But I want you to remind yourself that you are a beautiful soul. And sometimes it takes a little darkness before we can see our light. Guys, so much love, so much gratitude, so much 
happy feelings sending out there. Have a fantastic Friday and a great weekend.